All right, here with the 77 Golden Eagle. I've been working on some stuff today that is turning out okay. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what it looks like uh, here. So I added it with my newly painted wheels um, back to kind of the original color here. Again, I use that Duplo color in Duplo color in the in the last video uh, that I posted. But essentially, uh, when I added this spacer, I've got about a two inch depth here from the original hub. Of course, this used to be flush with the hub itself, and um, it looked great. But now I've got this little gap, and I'm really not sure what to do. And so, what I'm trying to figure out is: should I get some caps for it, or should I just leave it? This is the reveal that the two inch gives you, just barely outside. Again, I've got the narrow track axle, uh, and before it was in, you know, about here. So I got some before and after photos that I'll show you guys on that. And then on this side, I just wanted to show you kind of what the spacer looks like. But essentially, this is, um, you know, the wheel. And I do have these old hubs, but I'm not really sure. I, I don't really like the look of them. And so I thought about spraying them black, but they got a bunch of corrosion on them. And I figured, you know what, for now, I'm just going to see how it looks with the, with the little donut. Uh, looking thing. So this is my spacer. I did take it um, take it off and I primed the inside and then painted it. So you can see there uh, what that looks like. So I'm going to slap these on. I'm going to put my Loctite on and uh, we're going to snug them up to 130 foot pounds and we'll go from there. Okay. Now here we are putting a little bit of thread lock on the actual lock it, uh, or bolt itself. And so what you want to do there is just one solid little seam. Make sure you get it all the way back because these nuts only come out to about here anyway. They don't fully get the entire uh, bolt in depth. So we're going to load this on. Nice generous coat. You don't want too much so you'll have a hard time getting it off obviously. Um, but enough to keep it secure and then what we're going to do is we're going to fit the um, Spacer right up on there. All right, so my thread lock setting in I got these nuts there, you know, I think the 14 millimeter whatever they are So what we're going to do is just set these on it's easiest just to literally Take your nut put it in your driver here You kind of get them started one it's really important too that you don't snug these things up too tight before you get them kind of centered because they will obviously cause your wheel to to be out of balance and out of round so what I like to do is just kind of barely set them in get them somewhat set up Feel that centering a little bit. All right, so I got these things kind of, yeah, you can see this. This is what you don't want, obviously, when you go to tighten them. So what I like to do is try to get it as close to center as possible. And obviously the flange on the underside or the convex on the underside of these nuts helps center the hub up. So just kind of hand tighten it. As much as I can. And then instead of going right for the impact or the, you know, torque wrench, I'm just gonna put like a quarter turn on it. Kind of snug them up a little bit. Down to a place where I can put a little meat on them. Okay. Let me hit it one more time and I'm going to put my torque wrench on it. Got this thing set to about 140. So 
put a couple of clicks to it. That's one. Two. Three. Four. All right, now they say you're supposed to check these things after, uh, you know, a couple hundred miles or whatever, but I'm going to snug my wheel on, let this sit up, um, and then I'm gonna take it off the blocks and the jack because I'm about to do, um, like I said, the front, I'm gonna remove the front lockers, the Dana 30, and I'm gonna replace my rotors while I'm at it. Uh, but again, there's kind of the pre-look that you can see here. And I'm gonna go ahead and flash the tire on there. So we'll see what that looks like here. Coming back to it. All right. Okay. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. When you set it on, you can see the depth there. And obviously, again, you want to be really smart about lining uh, your wheel up to now the spacer. And, and this is, again, the view um, that it gives you just a tiny reveal. It's kind of worried about the tread throwing a lot of mud and dirt up here um, on the panels. But I don't think it's going to be too bad because the tread's actually just barely inside the fender. And I don't think it looks too bad. You know, for what I'm doing... Trying to keep it somewhat original. I'm just not a big fan of the narrow track uh, in, in the way it looked. And so that's kind of the finished, the finished side of it. And um, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Taking the hubs all the way off. I'm gonna repaint all those and, uh, and get them rolling. But on this side here, again, I'm gonna shirt it up, um, snug it up, get it to a place that I like it and uh, we'll be good to go. So let's do that. And then my anti theft, one more, and we'll close it down. There it is. Okay, again, uh, flush is what you're looking for. And if you just take your finger, you should have the same kind of feeling all the way around. If you feel any big overhangs, you know something's not right. And again, depending on the wear of your rim, it can be, uh, you know, definitely something that you can you can eventually edge out and, and get out around. So we will uh, give this a whirl, and I'm going to take the jack down and take a shot from behind just so we can see it. <laughs> 